Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title of this video, this is a thrift haul. I thought it might be kind of fun to do one of these types of videos. I love watching these types of videos from other people and I've only actually got like one kind of like thrift haul on my channel that's like purely just like thrifted things so it's really really old but if you do want to watch it i'll link it down below and i'll leave it in the eye i have done a like actual like thrift with me and haul which i definitely want to do more of but i thought for this one i might just sit down and do a haul and you guys can kind of tell me which ones you want to see like if you want to see both that's cool or if you just want to see like a haul that's cool and if you just want to see me going thrifting and then a haul afterwards then that's cool too so just let me know which one you guys like or if you like both then I can continue to do these types of videos. I've found a lot of really really nice pieces recently when I have been thrifting and I just wanted to share them with you guys. So I'm just going to be showing you the stuff that I've bought for myself. I did um, actually quite recently thrift fill a pair of Levi's and I thrifted him something else but he's currently wearing the jeans. So I have a mix of clothing and books in this haul and accessories but I don't have any shoes and I don't have any homewares this time. If you guys have been on my channel for a while you guys will know how much I love thrifting. I think it is a great opportunity to find some really unique pieces and some really trendy pieces for a very very affordable price and obviously you're helping out all of the charities when you shop with them. Yeah. Yeah, after that very very long introduction, let's jump straight into this video. Okay. So I'm going to start off with clothes. So some of these I have thrifted in actual stores and some of them I have bought on Facebook Marketplace. I wanted to include the Facebook Marketplace things in this video because it is technically an op shop but it's just like online if that makes sense. So I think we might start off with pants. The first pair of pants that I wanted to share with you guys is this pair of like leathery style pants. So they're like long skinny leather pants. I will do try on shots as well of all the clothing so that you can see how it all looks. These ones I found at the Salvation Army. These ones were $7 and I had been after a pair of leather pants for so long because I used to have two pairs from Cotton On but they both got too small for me. One of them I actually lost and the other pair just got too small for me and I used to reach for these all the time on nights out or if I'm like going around to someone's house for like drinks or whatever in the winter. These used to be an absolute staple for me. So I finally finally found this pair here. So these ones are from the brand Sass. They're in a size 12 but yeah I'm not too familiar with the brand so I don't really know where it is originally from. Um, but they have pockets on the sides as well which is great. Such a bargain for those pants because those are really expensive to buy new. The last pair of pants that I have are these like really really distressed blue denim jeans here. So these ones I actually bought on Facebook Marketplace. They've got the little like denim on the back. These ones are originally from Glassons. These ones are in a size 12 and they're just kind of like boyfriend style jeans so I just roll them at the bottoms just because I like the way that it looks and yeah the distressing pieces are quite big. I didn't quite realize that they were that big when I bought them. I thought they'd kind of be like my other boyfriend jeans that I used to have that have like little rips. I wasn't actually too annoyed when I got them because I really really like them. I like that they're a darker wash of denim. I don't actually have any jeans that are in like as dark of a wash as these are and my other boyfriend jeans were getting too small and they just didn't fit me like boyfriend jeans anymore so I needed to declutter them and I really wanted a pair to kind of replace those ones so these ones were $30 including shipping which is still pretty good for jeans I have been wearing these a lot um I wore these in a vlog recently. They fit me really well and they still have like a little bit of give room which is nice. So yeah I was really really happy to add those jeans into my collection and yeah they shipped pretty fast as well. So next up I might do a couple of tops. So I'll start off with a blouse because I only have one to show you. So I picked up this like pinky florally blouse here so it has a little like tie up bit at the front and then it kind of has like a seam coming across here and the sleeves are like 
quite like baggy and they're a little bit of that kind of like balloon sleeve style which is very very on trend right now and I just really really loved the color I thought it was a beautiful color and I've been watching some of Sally Joe's thrift hauls recently and I love the way that she styles blouses with black pencil skirts I think it looks very like chic and elegant and it just makes you look really put together so I didn't have a lot of blouses so I kind of wanted to pick up a few more it has a little button on the sleeve this one is originally from Portman's um it's in a size 10 and it fits me really really well um that one I found at Save Mart and it was $13. Okay and the last two tops that I have to show you are a little bit more summery um, and both of these I found on Facebook Marketplace. First one that I found on Facebook Marketplace was this little like black strappy singlet obviously the straps are very very thin like they're very very thin spaghetti straps and they've got lace on the front and then the bottom is like a little bit ruched i didn't really have any like black singlets that fit me like i think you need at least one black singlet in your wardrobe for the summertime this one is originally from beginning boutique and it's in a size medium i haven't actually shopped beginning boutique before and from what i remember when i tried this on it fit me fine i paid 14 dollars for it including shipping so yeah i just i thought it was really cute and such a summer staple and then the last top that I have to show you is this top here so you're going to be able to see it better in the try on shop but it's just one of those tops that you kind of tie up in the front and then the bottom is like quite cute and girly because it just has these little like ruffles on it this one was $18.50 so a little bit more expensive for a top but that was including shipping as well this one is originally from Princess Polly um it is in a size 6 which if you guys know me you, you know that I'm not usually a size six but the reason that I got this was because the girl in the listing said that she was a size 10 and she fit this top still so I thought well I'm usually like a size 8 to 10 on the top anyways so if she can fit it at a 10 then surely I can fit it and it does fit me it is just a little bit more snug than I would have liked it to be but I mean I'm still going to get use out of this in the summer I think it'll be really really nice with some high-waisted denim shorts next up I might do some play suits and dresses so I'll start off with the play suit I found this gorgeous like fire engine red play suit so it comes into the little shorts it has the short sleeves and then this tie in the middle is adjustable like you can undo it and kind of tie it as tight or as loose as you want it to and it has a little peep under here and the actual like short bit is elasticated so you can kind of like stretch it to fit how you want the reason i picked up a red play suit was because one of my friends on instagram she also has dark hair and she always always wears red and i just love the way that it looks on her i think she looks very very put together and i think red and color is supposed to mean power or like powerful because like all the colors have different meanings when you like put them in your wardrobe so this is kind of like a statement I am confident I am a woman I am proud I am powerful like all those kind of things didn't have like any red pretty much in my closet apart from my Santa dress which I can't wear all year round so yeah I really want to incorporate some more red in there and I saw this and knew that I had to have it so this one is originally from Princess Polly as well it's in a size 10 which is my size on Princess Polly this does fit a little bit snug um but I really really like the way that it fits it fits my body really really well and I recently wore this out to dinner with Phil's parents with a leather jacket and I just felt so confident in it so yeah I really really do love this piece so that one again I found on Facebook marketplace um so that one was $20.50 including postage which is really cheap for Princess Polly because if I bought that new on Princess Polly it would be like $80 or $90 the last kind of thing in the dresses and places category is obviously a dress um, a Again, I bought this on Facebook Marketplace, but it is originally from Princess Polly. And it is just this, like, beigey, florally dress. Um, it has really cute, like, puff sleeves and elastic. And has a little tie, and then it kind of, like, cups your boobs quite nicely. I don't know if you can kind of see where it ends and where it starts. And then it has a 
zip running down the back. This one is in a size 10. It is a little bit snug on me, so I think with my dresses from Princess Polly, I will have to size up to a size 12 from now on. Because this is a little bit tight on my arms, but it's not like so tight that I'm not going to wear it. I do think it'll look better with a tan, so I do think that I'll get a lot more use out of this in the summertime, obviously, with a tan. It's double lined, so it does have like a thicker layer underneath, so it isn't see-through or anything, which is great. I didn't really have a lot in this like beigey colour, um, but I've recently started wearing brown and I really really like brown so I thought this was, I mean it's not brown but it's like kind of between like a pink and a brown which I think is really cute. I have seen Emma Stevens wear this dress and I loved the way that it looked on her so when I saw it on Facebook I thought I would give it a go. Um, so this one was $19 including shipping. Yeah, again a lot cheaper than it would be if I bought it new off Princess Polly. It is a little bit short on me so I do think I will have to wear some little like bike shorts underneath but to be honest I don't really mind because it gets bloody hot here in summer. If I've got a short dress it doesn't really matter if I'm wearing bike shorts and you can see them like I don't really care too much to be honest. Alright so next up I might do a skirt. So I just have one skirt that I wanted to share with you guys and it is just this little black skirt. Um, it is elasticated on the waist which is nice and then the material I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see but oh there you go you can kind of see there like it has this kind of detailing on it. And the reason I bought this skirt was because I currently have a skirt in my skirt collection that is black but it is really like it's like a tight fitting like bodycon skirt but I've had it for a really really long time so I doubt that it's still gonna fit me because I have put on a bit of weight yeah which isn't a bad thing because I was like a really unhealthy weight for my age before and now I'm like a more healthy weight so yeah I wanted to pick up a new like bodycon skirt that I can wear with blouses or wear with singlets just to kind of like dress up an outfit in the summertime if I need so yeah I found this one and it fits really really well this one I bought from the Habitat for Humanity op shop this one is originally the clothing and co brand it is a size 10 and yeah I really really like the length of this on me so they're almost two dollars so very very cheap and then the last clothing pieces that I have to show you are two piece sets so I have two to share with you so the first one I have is this like snake skin two piece set so if I take them off the hanger so this is the little top so I just think this was really really cute the straps are kind of like they're very very stretchy so I don't quite know what material they are and the actual material like I thought it would feel more like lycra but it doesn't like it's actually like it actually just feels quite fabric-y which is quite nice. This set is originally from Boohoo and it's in a size 12 but again I found this on Facebook Marketplace so yeah I'm usually a size 12 at Boohoo so I knew this would fit me really really well and then you obviously have the skirt here. Again the skirt has elastic at the front. It isn't see-through or anything. It doesn't have any splits down the bottom or anything so it's just more of like a classic skirt. Yeah again the skirt is in a size 12 from Boohoo obviously. I love two-piece sets because like you can get like so many different outfit options with a two-piece set because obviously you can wear them together, you can wear the skirt with something or you can wear the top with something else. I'm actually planning on wearing this to like a concert type thing that I'm going to with a couple of my friends in a couple of weeks so yeah I'm excited to wear that. I didn't really have a lot of two-piece sets like I only have like two other ones so I really wanted to pick up some more um, and I didn't have any that had a skirt with them and I don't really have a lot in the like snake skin or the like faux snake skin style and I do think it looks really sophisticated and sleek. So this set was $34 including postage which is still a lot cheaper than buying it new. And then the last two piece set that I have to show you guys is this like pink gingham two piece. Now I have the blazer separate because it does have a small rip on the back and I need to take it to a tailor to get it like sewn up and stuff which I did actually know when I bought it but I wasn't too worried about just taking it somewhere to get it fixed. Um, So this is the blazer here so yeah it's just like a pink and white gingham and then it has the little like tortoise shell buttons down both of the sides and I just think it looks really really cute. Um, this one 
is from the brand Paper Heart. Um, it's in a size 10, but it's quite like a big size 10. I don't know where it's originally from because I'm not familiar with the brand. Yeah, wherever this is, I want to make sure that I shop on there more often because their size 10s run quite big. Um, so yeah, this is the back, so, oh yeah, the rip is like over here, so it's kind of like not too noticeable, but it is a little bit, but I would just feel better if I got it a little bit fixed. I still thought it was really, really cute, and I thought it would be nice to wear with like my leather pants on a night out, or jeans, or a black skirt, or you can wear it with the shorts to be a cute little summer outfit with like a white singlet underneath. So yeah, these are the shorts. They're kind of like a paper bag style at the front where they're kind of like ruched in. There is so much elastic in this. They've got pockets, which is great. They do feel a little bit thin, but they don't feel so thin that they're going to be see-through. But yeah, I just thought the pink gingham was really, really cute. Um, I currently have a dress in this pink gingham colour and yeah, I really like it and I think it looks really cute. So I thought I would pick up that set there as well. So that one was $29.50 including posted. Um, a lot of the times when I do um, shop on Facebook Marketplace, I always ask the seller if they can do the items a little bit cheaper than what they are asking for. And usually they do. So a lot of these items were actually priced a lot higher but I negotiated down. This two-piece set was one of those just because it had the rip in the back and I think they were wanting like $40 for it. Yeah, those are all for the clothing. So I think I might move on to accessories next. So the first accessory is a bag um, and it is a makeup bag. So it's not like a handbag or a bag that I'm going to take out like a lot. Um, but it is just this one here. Now I just thought this was very, very cute. Kind of has like a Vogue Paris kind of feel to it. Um, so yeah, this one is originally from Elizabeth Arden, but again, I found it at the Habitat for Humanity shop when I found the black skirt. But yeah, I just thought the print on it was really, really cute. So it's just like this lady with her coffee carrying a bag, wearing heels, and obviously she's like on her way to work or something. She like would obviously be someone who works in like a fashion magazine or a fashion store or something. But yeah, it has the little zip at the top and it's quite like a decent size makeup bag as well and I always find when I'm packing my makeup that I always put my makeup in two bags like I have one for my brushes or one for my palettes or like one for my actual makeup so I always carry a few and it's just really annoying so I thought I'd get this one and give it a go and see how it went this one yeah it's in really really good condition it doesn't have any stains or anything on the inside um, and this one was just 50 cents, so such a steal. The last accessories that I have to show you guys are these like tortoiseshell sunglasses here. So I've actually purchased these quite recently. Um, I purchased these from the Red Cross um, op shop. These ones were $9 and I was kind of after some new sunnies for the summertime because yeah, I don't think I bought any last year and I like having a few new ones um, and I have decluttered a couple of pairs as well so if I put them on this is kind of what they look like so they're kind of like that little like cat eye style which is very very on trend right now um, and yeah obviously the tortoise shell is very on trend. These ones did have a little sticker on the front that had UV protection. I can't exactly remember what it says but that's about all I remember. I don't know where these are originally from but yeah I'm really really happy that I have these in my sunglasses collection now. The last category that we're going to do is books. So the first book that I wanted to share with you is this one here. So this one is Love Tanya, obviously by Tanya Burr. So Tanya Burr is a YouTuber here on YouTube, obviously. This book I think I actually ended up getting for free at the, I think it's called the Presbyterian Support Op Shop. It's the one that's opposite BP where I live. And I bought this with a couple of other um, clothing pieces that I included in my last clothing haul. So if you want to watch it, I'll link it down below and I'll leave it in the eye. But I remember when this book came out and I really, really wanted it, but I just never got my hands on it. So... Now I have it and I'm really, really happy about it. The next book that I have is this one here. So this one is, did I mention I Love You by Estelle Mars Game. I loved this book. Um, I read this in high school and yeah, it was a really, really good read. It was a really quick and easy read. Um, See, so yeah, I actually thrifted this. I think it was from the Cranford 
hospice shop and I think it was like two dollars or something but yeah it's just like a like a romance that kind of forms like over the summer when the girl goes to stay at her dad's for the summer or something. I really really liked the characters in this book and yeah it's just a really really cute story so if you're after a romance book check this out. And the last two books that I have to show you I haven't actually read so I'm quite excited to. So the next book that I have is this one here. So this one says My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. It says A Boy, A Secret, A Choice. Um, I don't actually know if I can remember where I picked this one up. It could have been The Salvation Army but I can't quite remember. And this one was $2 as well. It could have been the Presbyterian support or it could have been like Cranford or something but yeah I really can't remember. I thought the cover was really cute and then I read the back and it really like brought me in. So I'll read the back to you guys and you guys can see what you think. On one summer night everything changed. Life in Samantha Reed's home is neat and clean and orderly. Precisely planned by her local politician mother. Next door at the Garrett's things are loud, messy and irresistible. And when gorgeous Jace Garrett cri crimes climbs the trellis outside her bedroom and enters her life she finds herself falling passionately in love with him and everything he brings with him. The only hitch is she's got to hide it from her mother. Then something unthinkable happens and Samantha is suddenly faced with an impossible decision. Which perfect family will save her or is it time she saved herself? So yeah I thought it would be another like cute romance book but with a twist so yeah I'm excited to give this one a go. And then the last book that I have is actually one that I have bought recently. Um, so this one I bought from like a like second hand bookstore. Um, I think it's called like Minton Books or something. It's just local to where we live. And it is this one here. So this one is My Not So Perfect Life by Sophie Kinsella. I love Sophie Kinsella. Um, she writes the Confessions of a Shopaholic series. Which I've pretty much read all of the books bar one I think. This one just sounded very like on trend with how things are right now and I thought it would be a good read. Katie Brenner has the perfect life, a flat in London, a glamorous job and a super cool Instagram feed. Okay, so the truth is that she rents a tiny room with no space for a wardrobe, has a hideous commute to a lowly admin job and the life she shares on Instagram isn't really hers. But one day her dreams are bound to come true, aren't they? Until her not so perfect life comes crashing down when her mega successful boss Dem Demeter? I don't know. Gives her the sack and Katie has to move home to Somerset. Then Dementa books in for a glamping holiday on the family's farm and Katie sees her chance. But should she get revenge on the woman who ruined her dreams or try to get her job back? Does Demeter, the woman who has everything, actually have such an idyllic life herself? Maybe they have more in common than it seems. I just thought it was really relevant to today's society and thought it would be a good read. Um, I think this one was like $5.90 or something from the bookshop. So there we go guys, that is everything that I have to share with you and if you guys want me to do like a specific Facebook marketplace haul let me know or if you want to see more of like a specific thrift shop haul let me know as well or again if you want to see me do like a thrifting video and a haul afterwards all in one video let me know because yeah I love shopping secondhand. I'll pretty much try and shop everything secondhand if I can. If you guys would be interested in a book haul as well let me know because I've been really wanting to get back into reading. I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Please make sure to turn on your notifications and check out my social media. It's always linked down below in the description box. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Man, this really feels like an olden day. An olden day haul. Let's do these jeans up. Where is my phone? Because I need to see the prices. So the first pair of, pair of pants. Love that a plane's gonna interrupt me.